So uh, we've looked at a variety of ways we can predict uh, metabolism by human uh, isoforms and enzymes. Uh, but quite rightly pointed out that the first place we dose our compounds is not straight into, into humans, but into um, you know, uh, animal models. Um, and so we might like to compare that human metabolism with uh, the metabolism by various preclinical species. Uh, one way that this is, one reason this is very important is that choosing the most appropriate species for preclinical studies is absolutely critical. We need to ensure coverage of human metabolites in our animal models. Um, and if they're not uh, generated in our animal models, we do need to identify those um, and, you know, potentially, you know, synthesize those for further safety testing. And to help with this, one can make predictions for non-human P450 metabolism. Um, in our case, we have produced models of, of mouse, rat, and dog, um, and we can use these to identify the most appropriate species to generate similar metabolite profiles and, and hence prioritize that experimental effort. Um, and just to sort of show you uh, and a quick example of that as well, um, let's look at an example of uh, sildenafil. Um, so here you can see we can make a prediction. Uh, again, I'll just focus on P450 metabolism, for which we have these preclinical models. So here again, you can see the summary we saw before of the human metabolism. But if we want to compare and contrast what you can see here, uh, side by side are the uh, human predictions um, and the predictions by the preclinicals for the preclinical species. In the case of the uh, preclinical species, we don't have um, isoform by isoform data, so we have a model predicting for the species as a whole. Um, and that means they're also slightly more qualitative. Instead of producing a, 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 an actual quantitative regioselectivity, we're identifying primary, shown here in bold with the, the primary symbol, secondary and tertiary metabolites. Now, experimentally, uh, in humans, the predominant site of metabolism is indeed this ND methylation position here on the perazine, but there's also metabolism observed here, uh, another ND methylation site uh, here as well. Um, and so if we wanted to compare between the, the human uh, and the preclinical species, really it's the, the mouse that is most likely to uh, give us the, the coverage of the same uh, metabolites that we are observing uh, in our human experiments. So again, just sort of summarizing the results that we just saw, the predominant sites uh, are here, identified uh, by the orange circle. And again, that is uh, in excellent agreement with um, the, um, the, the, the expected or the observed, experimentally observed metabolism uh, in, uh, in mouse, um, which is, is published by, by Lee et al. here. So it, it's just confirming that prediction is correct. 